Hi, I'm Walter Bottas from Stake F1 Team Kicksauber, and I'm gonna go through lap of Mexico with you. Let's start. All right, so opening the, a lap, um, yeah, you wanna get good exit out of this um, quite a slow corner, leading to the one of the longest straights on the, on the calendar, and probably the, the fastest straight on the calendar thanks to the thin air and less drag. So it's a bit of a wait until turn one, which is really high high braking zone, you break uh, around 100 meter board, you want to hit the apex because you want to be well position, positioned for turn two and three, the chicane. And it's all about hitting the curbs right and getting good exit for another decent straight with DRS. Then the next set of chicane is again pretty slow speed, you want to hit the apexes if you miss them, normally you lose quite a bit of time. Um, traction is quite weak here, the grip is low. So you need to be extra careful and not over slipping the tires. Uh, same out of this corner as well. And now we come to the sec to the high speed section, well higher speed section. It's nice combination of corners, lots of direction changes. You want to have a good front end in the car. And again, just really using those curbs, um, having a car as well that they can use the curbs, you see that flow. And the final section, entering the stadium, just to stand 90 degree corner and then really low, uh, low speed left-hander. I had a bit of a lock up there, but actually still made the corner. And this last one, yeah, you just want to get, get it uh, nice and smooth and have a round line for the main straight and uh, cutting a bit of distance, closing the lap. Um, yeah, what I look out for in Mexico normally is uh, precision, you know, the breaking points, hitting the apexes and really trying to feel the traction on this smooth surface. How challenging is it when you know you're coming down the straightaway here, and you know you've got to push the the braking zones? Like as you build up to it, does it does it take a while, or with all the simulator work that you do, are you usually on it right away? Usually, with the simulator work nowadays, you can get your eye in pretty quickly. Uh, you still obviously the first lap, you're not going to break at the optimal place, so you're going to build build up to it. But uh, yeah, uh, the braking points they they are really important here because if you miss it by one meter and you miss the apex because most of the corners are like combinations that really has you over. And then the S section, uh, I mean, how, how exciting is it? it? It reminds me a lot of like Maggots, Beckett's, you know, Chapel and Silverstone, yeah. but I mean, obviously the, it, it looks quick. So how does it feel? <laughs> yeah, so it's not quite as quick as let's say Silverstone um, and it's lower grip here. Even though we're on the big wing, we still have less downforce than in Monza example. So you're sliding quite a bit, but uh, that's probably the favorite part of the track for me it has quite a quite a nice flow uh, how, how do you get that trust you know when the essentially if if it's low grip I mean the car like you had said is sliding quite a bit I mean how do you build the trust with the with the car you know it's it's not easy in, in Mexico because the track is super smooth so the sliding the, the snaps you're potentially getting from the rear end they can be pretty sudden and the grip is quite peaky here so that's why you need a lot of laps in the practice to, um, you know, get get trust on the grip and also the track evolution. You know, session by session, you need to try and feel the grip, which is not the easy part here. But I feel sometimes can be my strength. And then, physically, uh, the physical demands of, of the track here in Mexico. I mean, obviously the air is very thin. I mean, <laughs> losing my breath like going up hmm. the hill. So, for yourself in the car, do you, do you notice it as much, or is it do you do you acclimate yourself to it quite quickly? Yeah. So you know the the acute altitude effects they they last for the first few days then you start to get used to it but still you're not going to be 100 percent compared to sea level uh, the good thing is the track is not very physical itself there's only a couple of higher speed corners otherwise it's pretty pretty low speed and, and low grip but uh, you feel it you know if you would be driving this track on the sea level you definitely your breathing rate would be uh, would be lower so you're definitely breathing a bit more rapidly here but um, no problem, I'm